got you feeling right. Kick drum like a shotgun, ripping through the night, raising heaven Dixie cups all night long. It's all about the sweat so t-shirts. After a lot of work, messing with the fuel button and all that stuff, I've got her back where I think she was on. We had a problem with the fuel button not working. All the gauges. That's daytime where it lights up. And this is nighttime. This one's got a bulb. I don't have a bulb brand in it yet. Had to keep that that one that's stock tag because they don't this company doesn't make a mechanical and that is a mechanical tack i don't think it worked real good so i don't know i'm gonna do something different on that we'll see like we get up to about 1500 and it goes nuts might have to get a new cable and see if that'll fix it or not anyway we're back under under our own power got her backed up in the barn led headlights this is the original old headlights in it but anyway all out and need to finish up my carrier bearing right there that's why i wanted it in here but anyhow i want you guys to see she's back running under her own power holding there perfectly water temp doesn't work oil pressure works fine I had to run all new wires because of uh, because of the the way these gauges work. They had to have their own module, so I had to run all brand new wires back to the back, back to the transmission, like this one right here. That one right there is the transmission temp sense or the rear end temp. It's down there. Got a brand new transmission temp in there. There's an engine temp in there, but I just got to hook all those up. So anyway, was just letting you guys see it. Power steering's perfect. I rebuilt that power steering pump. So now we start on the pretty stuff, get everything kind of put back together and start on all the pretties.
to do a little bit of work, but here's what we're going to try to do. We've got we've got to make this all disappear. Time for a bumper. So, let's go back in here and see if we can turn this some of that, a little bit of that, into a bumper. Here we go. Okay, all sewed up. Good and square, everything's good. We'll take that. We got plenty of weld right there that we can take down. I built it up just a little bit so I could take it down and smooth everything out and make it look real nice and pretty. So, yeah. We'll continue to the other side. All right. It's kind of we got a little bit of grinding and stuff left to do, but that's kind of what she's going to look like. We'll get the angle iron put on it tomorrow. I'm going to have to shut down for the night tonight, but we'll clean all that up, get all the little dimples out, put angle all the way around. Anyway, that's the way she's looking, YouTube. Got both sides done. Other side's done too. I don't have it grinded yet, but it's all welded up. So we'll continue on. All right, you two. Here's the bumper. I'll probably see if I can raise that just a little bit. It looks like we're gonna have to cut. I think I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna come back here and make that round back in that area. Too much on the sides, which I wanted to make sure I had enough just in case, but I, if I follow that line, I don't know, that might work, and then bring it back down. Bring that slow, that slow all the way from here down. Well, it won't go quite that far. It'll come right in there, and then maybe take it back right there. I think that's what I'll do. Anyway, I got the frame on it. I got the two inch frame all the way around. So I left this open here so that right here, I left this open so that I could figure out what I'm gonna do on this part right here. So anyway, back to it. All right, YouTube, back at it again. So what we've decided to do is cut that straight off. It it clears, I've drove it and tires clear and everything, but I may end up replacing the, the tires on this, th or the uh, fenders on this thing. And if I replace those fenders, I, I might go with the scallop fender. So I wasn't, I wasn't sure how the curve that we talked about was gonna work out. So I just, uh, I cut it off even. Got a little bit of grinding and stuff left to do, but that's pretty much the bumper. She's got all the holes drilled, everything's ready. The only thing I don't have is a brace. We're gonna have to put a brace back there. Uh, that other side over there has a brace sticking down. That, it was an aluminum brace, but I've got to build a brace that goes back to those. So anyway, uh, other things we got, I got the carrier bearing done to 
today. I got it bolted in. It's bolted into the frame. Everything's good there. And I took the tailboard off, took it inside. It's setting inside in there. I'm gonna try to get some paint and stuff on that. But I got my ride height deal put on. I just went off the shock mount down there on that axle. Made me a little bracket, came up. So she's there. All I gotta do is take this line, run it up to the tank and tie, tie one into the tank right there. I think I may, I may put a T right there and maybe run a, instead of running a glad hand, yeah, I guess I could run a glad hand and just have it where I could hook into it. Put one back here where I've got air at the back. I'm not gonna pull any trailers that's got air brakes, but it would be nice to have air at the back. So I may either put a, either one of these, like a one of these chucks right here or uh, a glad hand, one or the other. So I'll make that decision, but that's where we're at right now, guys.